In this video, we're going to show how to make a GIF and a video of your game and how you can share that with your friends and anywhere else such as social media. Okay, let's jump right in and bring up Google. And the first tool we're going to get is called OBS, which stands for Open Broadcast Software. So if you just search for OBS in Google, it'll be the first link right at the top here, obsproject.com. And to install, you can just click on the Windows button here. This is a completely free program that uh, does all recording and streaming. A lot of big streamers use it. A lot of YouTube channels use it to create videos. So just because it's free does not mean it's a you know simple limited program. So once it's installed and you open it, this is what you're going to see here. This is actually recording right now. And all the settings are here on the right. You can go into the settings and change things like the output quality. Um, the format of the videos, where you're saving them to, typical things of any program. So I'll let you browse through. You can make any changes you need. But by default, everything in here pretty much works. The only thing you might want to change is where you save the files to. And then the center screen here is showing what it's recording. These little windows at the left, um, you can set up different scenes just to kind of save favorites. And on here, you can set what you're recording. For this video, we're not going to change this at all, but just to know it's here. So, you know, as you get more advanced, you can start changing that. These are the volume settings. So the desktop audio is what you're going to actually record from the computer. And then you can set your mic audio there too. So mine's muted right now because I'm recording the audio separate. This screen, you can drag around to actually change what you're recording on the screen, as you can see. And then these little bars at the bottom and sides, if you hold down the Alt key and click on them and drag it around, you can actually resize the, the screen. So this is really handy for things like I just did at the bottom where I cut out the, the bottom taskbar so you don't see that when you're recording. You could also remove up the menu bar so you don't see that as well. It's your, your preference, whatever you want to set. Okay, now that that's all set up, just hit the record button on OBS here. As you can see, mine already says stop recording because it's in record. And then I'm opening up my Unity project here. And you just want to set up however you want to display it. So on this one, what I usually do is I have my game screen on a separate monitor. So I just bring it on this one and maximize it. This way, whatever you set on your OBS settings is what you'll record here. So since I just cut off the bottom bar, you'll still see the, the top taskbar, but just run your game, and this is all recording our video right now. I'm just going to click a few things. This is just a little chess game I've been playing around with. So we'll let this run for a second here. Okay, and that should be enough. So just bring up OBS and hit stop recording. That video clip will now be saved in your default save folder. And what I'm going to show now is how to upload it to a website called Streamable. I'm not going to cover any kind of editing in this video. So um, after you record it, you can you can actually do some editing if you want to make it look more professional. But for now, let's just go to our website and let's go to streamable.com. And as you can see here, I, you just sign up. It, this is completely free as well. This is just one of my accounts right now. So let's click upload video, select the file that we saved. And now it's going to upload and then process it. So depending on the, the length of the video, this might take a, a few minutes here, as well as based on your connection speed. Now that it finished, you can see it here with a link that you can click. If you click the link, this will actually bring up the player and you can view it in the website. Um, this is going to show the actual video that we have recorded here. Um, you can't do any editing or anything, but you can just kind of view. And then if you click in the address bar and copy the URL, this is the link you can actually share to give to people. So let's copy that. You can copy it with control C on your keyboard and then we'll paste it with control V. So just to show some uses, I'm just bringing up Discord here. If you're not familiar with Discord, it's a, a chat program that you can use to chat, screen share, um, just kind of join communities of different groups. So you may want to check it out, but I'm just showing here. You can just make a little comment, paste in that clip, and then people can view your your video right there, or they can click the link and it'll bring it up in a separate browser window. And this link you can paste anywhere. So websites, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, whatever you'd like. 
All right, let's jump back to our web browser and go to Google. We're gonna search for screen to GIF. And you're gonna find this website here, just screen to gif.com. And this is a little program that'll capture our screen and save it. So we'll just go through the installer. Um, I'm not gonna show that as you know how to do that. Once it's installed, you'll have an icon here you can open. Okay, and this is the main dashboard for screen to gif so uh, there is quite a few other functions here I don't really use. I only use the recorder myself. So if you click it, this will bring up the record window. And what you see in this frame is what it's gonna record. Uh, down here at the bottom, you have the frames per second. So you don't wanna set that too high or your file size is gonna get huge. The resolution shows there. But if you actually just resize the window, it's gonna automatically change the resolution to fit what you drag it to. All you'll want to do is drag this to whatever size you want to capture. So if we go back into Unity here, and let's just kind of make it cover just our, our scene view or game view here, whichever you prefer. When ready, just hit the record button on the bottom of the program here and then click play in Unity. And now it's going to be recording. So whatever's inside that frame is going to be recorded as a GIF. So we're just gonna do a quick click. Uh, again, you don't wanna do anything too long here because file size of a GIF will get very big, very fast. Okay, and once we're done, just hit the stop button and just uh, hit yes on this. That's just because I had a previous project open. So now that's gonna actually save the files. So you're gonna see this window here and all of these are the frames of the GIF. So you can actually do some basic editing in here. I'm just gonna select the, the first empty one and scroll back and hit the delete key. And that deleted all the empty frames before the GIF. So you, you can go through here, you can cut it however you want. Okay, and you can do preview in here too. So if you click the little play icon here in the bottom, this will actually play the GIF so you can view it. You can scroll backwards and forwards, just make sure you're happy with everything. Now to save the GIF, just go up to the top and let's hit the save as button. And these are your save settings. So you can just select the folder you want to save it to, whatever file name you want, and then just hit save. And now it's going to do all the processing and save the file. So depending on the, the GIF and the size, this may be instantly or it may take a few minutes. Okay, and now that that's done, we can just click out of here and close the program. Let's go back to our browser now, and we're gonna to go to imager.com, which is I-M-G-U-R.com. And this is just a kind of social media image sharing site. You can use any site you want. This is just what I use. It's completely free as well. Click the add images icon once you're logged in, and just browse to the image you wanna upload. So we're gonna add this GIF, drag it in, or just click open, whichever. Now you see the progress bar. And we're just gonna wait for that for a second. Okay, and our GIF's uploading now, so just click on it. And this is just kind of a preview here. And on the right, you have a whole bunch of options. So you have different links to it. I like to use the direct link, because then you won't see the imager profile or anything. It's just the GIF and that's it. So if you copy that one, paste it in the address bar, this is what people will see when you share it. So it'll just be the GIF, none of your account information, any of that. Now we can take that link and share it anywhere we want. So in this example, I'm just gonna show Twitter. We're just gonna write a quick little blurb about it and paste in the link. And then when you share it, it's gonna show the GIF in there and everybody will be able to view it. Okay, and there we go. And now it's uploaded and other people can see it. Uh, you'll notice it's a different GIF than the one we uploaded previously to Imager. Uh, I just recorded this at a different time, but um, same concept. So you can take this and share it anywhere you want with anybody. And everything I showed in this video is completely free. So I hope it helped out. If it did, comment below and hit the subscribe button. And I'll try to get some more videos out soon. Thanks.